Hey guys, welcome to Natlin. Well, it is a little early for that, but Genshin Impact, I mean, no, they didn't. I'm fake trash. Boyoverse did drop some videos about Natlin, specifically some characters and these things called the Ruins, which Nubalette says are dragons. Look, I barely finished the Archon quest in Sumeru. Please forgive me if I get some things wrong. But since he says they're dragons and I probably botched that word really bad, I'm just gonna keep calling them dragons, okay? So I feel like these dragons are put in the game for two main reasons. One, obviously, Hoyo wants to have a different vibe for every land you go to. It wants to have its own, like, thing. Be memorable in its own way, right? So I feel like the vibe it's trying to go for here is very ancient. I know a part of the culture it wants to go for here is, like, Aztec, Mayan, Inca. Apparently, that's what they think about when they think of Latin America, which, as a Latina, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about that. I guess I'm going to have to wait for more information to come out to have a full opinion about that. I think that's one thing, but I think the main reason why these dragons are here is because I speculate that Natlin is going to be huge. Honestly, I feel like every area we get just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And let's be real, yes, I hope that we get an expansion to Monsat. I love Monsat. It's like, it feels like home. It was our first place. Yeah, we might get Cel Celestia. Some people are saying that they're going to add Celestia. They might add the outside world if you believe in that theory. Of course, we're going to get says Naya at one point. But let's be real, we're closer to the end of the game than we are to the beginning. I'm so pretty sure whether it's because of weathering waves or they just learned their lesson, they don't want a repeat of leeway. I thought about it recently and I'm pretty sure the reason why I like never go back to leeway is because traversing leeway sucks, okay? I love to go back to all the other areas. I always go back in Azuma. Like I said, I love Monsta. I love Sumeru. I rarely go to the desert because, you know, sand in my crack, not my thing. I rarely go to leeway. And it's because when I think about it, climbing well, those mountains freaking suck. Also, now that I think about it, I really don't go to Dragon's Vine, but like there's no need to go to Dragon's Vine. You know what I mean? It doesn't really count. you get the vibe they're going for it's like really ancient which is funny because they're always talking about how old the other areas of the game are like Zhongling, they say he's like thousands of years old right but even this feels older doesn't it in a way like even he feels more modern in other areas but this feels even older wow that's interesting that they have this water area i feel like see they're trying to expand a lot and i think they're trying to have some continuity between all the areas i feel like that's the way they can expand monstat there seems to be a lot of water area but nothing to do with it so they're trying to connect a team with the other areas at least that's what i feel and then again like sumeru we have those little things we can shoot at we have that here too and flying okay that's interesting that's what i was gonna say well nuvalet said they were dragons but like what about them are dragons they kind of look funny i don't know like it's a weird ass dragon you know let me see him again that's interesting how the dragons seem to have their own vision in a way as well they're kind of like pokemon i don't know but that a new inspiration maybe they also kind of remind me of avatar like the last airbender in that show, if you don't know, they learned martial arts or how to control their powers from watching the movements of the animals because they were very in tune with nature. I think that could be another inspiration for these characters too. They might be very in tune with nature as well. That's the other vibe I'm getting. It seems very natural, very um, rustic, I think was the word I was looking for. Ooh, what that tongue do? I'm sorry, I had to say something stupid after like <laughs> using my brain so much. It's like... <laughs> It's frying in there. This looks like a chicken. Like, I'm getting flashbacks to Samara. Like, I hate her. Like, that chicken, like, farts on me. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, the music better be a bop. Like, don't let the Sumeru, not the Sumeru Desert. I'm sorry. Um, the Gerudo Desert theme, like, shit on you, Genji. Okay, because your music is fire. I want more. I expect more from you. Okay, now let's look at the characters. I already saw their pets. Let's see their, like, what people call the quote unquote Pokemon Twainas. I meant to say the Pokemon trainers. 
By the way, I find it interesting that so far, at least two of the three of the characters seem to have a feature of an animal. Yes, we've had that before. We have like fairies in Genshin Impact. We have like wild people working at Hoyo. Like that's okay. We do not. We don't judge Hoyo. You do you. You be your Greek ass self over here. Just make sure you add booty to these men because we need more cake. Okay. We want to see a no shame. Like you like fairies. Okay. We like cake. We all have our thing. But I just find it interesting because we've only seen three characters. Two of them seem to be animal-like, which again, as a Hispanic, Latina, Caribbean, if we're getting like real technical about it, I'm all three, but I, I just say I'm Hispanic. I don't know how I feel about that. I need more information, so I'm going to withhold my opinion until I get all the information I can. They're very cute though, like I said, so no hate. I just find that interesting, and I'm not saying that in a catty way. It's just interesting. Another thing I find interesting is finally one of them is allowed to have forehead. Like, I really thought they were one of those artists that, you know, they like always draw all their characters with like the hands behind their back because they don't know how to draw fingers. Because have you noticed that like almost no one in this game is allowed to have forehead? I was like, oh, they need an anatomy lesson. Like, they don't know how to draw a forehead. And they were like, let me prove the hell wrong. Okay. See you, Hoyo. I see the forehead. I see the vision. It's so cute. I love her hair, so adorable. Ah, look at that. She seems to have her own little, like... It's so cute, it's like Mario Kart out here, okay. And that's why I brought up Lee Wei. I speculate she's going to be a four star and she's gonna be given out for free, kind of like they did, like, Linnelle? I don't remember the character's name, the one that they gave out in, um... And pause that because my brain doesn't work too well i know i got that adhd but sometimes it doesn't process too much information i want to <clears throat> fontaine i think she's gonna have this like device thing she's gonna be kind of like side you she's gonna use it to like as a sprint or something and it's gonna help you traverse the land because it's gonna be very like rocky mountain me no second why is it every time i want to say spanish word like the first word that pops into my head is the first one what's wrong with me anyways first of all i think she's so cute and i love that she's blonde i love that they're like well part of it is hispanic and she's blonde like me yes we it's, it's super cute and i love little shorties if you don't know watch my last video and then you'll know i also think she's gonna be a four star because i believe the majority of the four star i mean of the short characters in this game are four stars and even though i love them i know that the shorter characters are not as popular also hoyo um be brave ponte los pantalones ponte los baterías and make a short male character we've all been waiting for it where where is he why are you afraid what's stopping you what's going on do it now anyway another reason why i believe that also is because i believe that she is geo and yes they gave out that geo fontaine girl who's really cute i want to say her name is like navia or something like that i don't remember right now i really like her but other than that geo isn't like the most popular vision if anything i'm gonna go out on a whim here and say it's probably the least popular vision especially because the other two characters are dendro and hydro and those are super popular I'm pretty sure those are going to be the five stars that they're going to want people to like really go crazy after. For her, she's really cute. I'm not exactly sure what animal she's probably based off of like a fictional animal. She looks like she's based off of a top. And she's adorable. And I love her. And let's continue. And I love the little animal friend. He's so cute. And I love her hair. And it looks like Mario Kart. <laughs> Why is he bullying her? No. What is he thought? I love her too much. Ah, oh, our second character. This is the Hydro character. They have the same hair. Did you notice their hair is a little similar? <laughs> this really does look like Mario Kart out here. <laughs> ah! There you go. Another device. Another um, mobility device, car, whatever you want to say. The Hydro character. And go over Hydro. So, okay, so maybe my theory about it connecting to Fontaine and being able to swim underwater was wrong, which makes sense. They want to probably keep that to Fontaine, but they probably know that people are going to want to keep that not drowning. They probably want to keep that and they're probably going to give that as a special skill to another incentive to be like, hey, pull for her because you won't die. Kokomin can do the same thing. If you pop her alt, she can walk on water. I've actually never done it before, but I know people can do it. But that's also probably going to help you traver traverse through Natlin. Again, from what I'm seeing in the background, it looks really underdeveloped, very rustic, very olden time, very antique. I don't know what words to say, but I think you get the vibe. You see it. <laughs> I wonder if she uses it to attack or just to travel. 
This is our Dendro Emo icon. Like he works at the local Hot Topic, he's a manager. You can tell he's Dendro because he's green. He, he kind of looks green, by the way. He kind of looks like Xiao's older brother. I really love the colors. They're very beautiful and very vibrant as well. Hold on, I just looked at this little short girl and she almost looks like she has, like I've seen the outfit before. Like there's someone else in this game who wears like that exact same outfit. Is that not like Venti's outfit? Is that who I'm thinking of? Like that shorts and everything? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if maybe those ears aren't hers. Maybe it's the hat. I also noticed they seem to have these tattoos. I wonder if they're decorative, if they're part of the culture, or if they represent something. Well, I mean, that could be part of the culture, but you know what I mean? I wonder if that's like, oh, they're fighters, they're warriors. Pretty sure they're not birthmarks. No one else has them. Their shape are interesting too. It's very, um, I don't know, why am I forgetting the word? I want to say spherical, but they're obviously not spherical. Geometric. It's interesting that they're using geometric and these straight lines. I feel like they're trying to juxtapose the nature around them because the nature here is, again, very, like, wild. It's very natural, but these straight lines are clearly, like, man-made. Go out into wild right now. Go out into the wild right now. Excuse me. You'll see, like, straight lines, like, are just not a thing. And the same thing, like, circles, they're just not a thing. You don't see that out there. That's actually why in art history, circles, you see that so much in churches and stuff. They represent God. They're never ending. And also because, like, you just, like, they're super rare, right? And they're very hard. Or at least back then, they were very hard to make. Look, forehead, y'all. No way, like, Boyo versus, like, y'all can have forehead. I love the hair, too. Iconic. Where did they get the hair dye? Okay, they are her hair ears. <gasps> I love her hair too. I love how she has short and long hair. I don't get how it works. That must be so hard to like cut, wash, style, whatever. I like her little buddy in the back too. I like how sometimes I give like a very like, like I show my art history degree off and I give like a very detailed explanation. Sometimes I'm just like, oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> okay, she has a little tail too. She's some kind of animal. What kind of animal could that be? I was gonna say like a deer, but. Because, you know, deer, deers have those short little, like, booty tails. But first off, I don't think there are deers down there. It's just something that makes sense. And that's why I said two out of three of them seem to be animals. But now that I'm looking at the Hydro character, I think that's just her hair. I think she just got weird hair. Like, she just has amber vibes that looks kind of bunny-like. But I don't think she has any animal features to her. Again, another reason why I think the little one is going to be a four-star. Like, no hate to the furries, the furry community, whatever. I'm scared of you. Please don't come for me. Oh, lol, I'm kidding. I'm joking. But, like, let's be real, y'all. Like, furries, half animal people, whatever. They're not as popular as, like, non-furry, non-animal type people. You know, again, that's my theory. That's my speculation. I'm sticking with it. Let's see them whoop ass. Oh, no, they had to cut her. Oh. <coughs> okay, thanks for y'all. Whatever. I didn't want to see it anyways. I was over it anyways. Well, wowzers. Oh, his little bandana laptop? I like that. I totally see why people say they're Pokemon trainers. I did read that they like to imitate their little, like their little pets or their little buddies or something. Wait, now that I think about it, maybe they weren't meant to be bunny ears on her head. Maybe it's supposed to be like some kind of fish thing, like fins, you know, like a shark or something. I don't know. I, don't know, so I look like a marine biologist, y'all. Yeah, everyone says they look like Pokemon trainers. I feel like they're trying to go for that vibe that a lot of the times if you look at like the Incas and the Aztecs, actually even in Egypt, I know we left Sumeru, but still a lot of those civilizations would look towards the animals and they would either worship them like gods, you know, that's me, or take inspiration from them. They would see like their strength, their resilience, and they would use that as inspiration. They oh, even um, indigenous Americans, I hope I said that correctly, I apologize if I did not. You know, they look at those animals and they like to incorporate that into their clothing. I think that's why a lot of people look at these characters and say, oh, they look like Pokemon trainers. Because Pokemon trainers obviously have their style based on their Pokemon. And then since this is Genshin, they all look wild. Like, they look wild like Pokemon trainers. But I don't think that was necessarily the intention. You know, because I don't think Genshin wants to be sued. I think it was more like they were trying to copy that cultural aspect. I know Natlin is not based on indigenous Americans, by the way. I know it's supposed to be like Latin America, like I said, and um, African as well. But like I said, those cultures kind of like that. I guess I'm going to finish all the story quests in Sumeru so then I can do the interlude quest so then I could go to Fontaine so then I could go to Nap and then see if I was right. And then I will say my full opinion on how I feel as a 
Hispanic on that lens because so far I think it's pretty cute and pretty interesting but it's also how do I put it I also find it a little odd that they were like oh yeah let's the Latin culture but let's use like super super ancient Latin culture like why why is that and it's like oh let's also use African culture and uh what was the other one i can't remember the other one they used maybe polynesian i'm sorry i'm not remembering the other one but i know they use like three cultures in one which again that's an odd choice why is it every time i've noticed that a lot in media why is it every time there's latin culture they mix it with another culture why can't these cultures just be shown by themselves and then why do they use the old culture instead of a more recent one i don't know maybe i'm overthinking it though like <laughs> thinking isn't my strong suit so you know <laughs> maybe i'm just overthinking it but anyways thanks for watching i appreciate that i'll see you in the next one peace